Hello Planning Mashers and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and interested in all things planning and bullet journaling, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you always know when I release a new video. It's been a while since my last video. As I explained before, I'm still stuck in the US because of the quarantine. I can't come back and I don't really have any of my proper equipment to film YouTube videos. I did do a few videos for my IGTV. If you're wondering, you can check that out. But today I'm doing something very different. Today we're talking about digital planning. Digital planning is a fantastic tool. And honestly, you can do everything you do in your paper planner digitally as well. All you need is a tablet and, well, some kind of a pen. And you'll be able to have your own bullet journal digitally, so you can always just carry a tablet with you. Now, for my journaling, I am using my iPad Pro. It's a bit older, I think it's last year's version and it's just 11 inches and my second generation Apple Pencil. That's also something I use a lot for work. I do like designs and stickers, which you can find on my Patreon. I will leave the link in the description. So it is a very useful tool altogether. The other thing you will need if you are planning to start with digital planning is some kind of a digital planner. Thankfully, there are plenty on the market and you can buy them from all over the place. Personally, here I am using a Boss personal planner and it's kind of a productivity oriented planner. I will show you more and we'll go through all the pages I have there later during the video. Just to let you know, all the links for everything I'm using will be in the description. Be sure to stay until the end of the video because I will be giving my final thoughts on the digital planner I'm using. So maybe it will be a good planner for you as well. With that being said, let's dive in and let me show you my planner, how I set up my weekly spread and generally talk a little bit on how to use a digital planner. So this is my iPad and for planning you need a third-party app. I'm using an app called GoodNotes. Here we are opening a monthly data digital planner, which is my boss personal planner. The first spread is a gold spread and I really enjoy how it's organized and divided into shorter intervals and different categories. I feel like it's a great way to set your goals. Next page is a reading list with 24 books, which makes it around two books a month for one year. Then there is a page for habit tracking and after that the Eisenhower matrix. And here I wanted to mention that there are actually two ways to switch between pages. You can either go to tabs on the top or just swipe left and right. Next, there is a priority planner to work on your most important tasks and projects. And the next one is a kind of year in review. There is a calendar for 2020 and 2021. And the great thing about digital planners is that they are all interconnected. So if I go to a yearly calendar and I tap on the month, it's going to open a monthly spread for that month. Then after that, I can tap on the day and it will open a daily spread for that day. Speaking of daily section, it consists from two spreads. One page is for your daily to-do list and your daily schedule and another one for notes and planning the next day. This notes section can be used as you like, but it seems like a great idea to use it maybe for journaling or habit tracking or maybe even meal planning. Next, we are going to a weekly breakdown and this is how you find the week you want. Find it here and click on the dates and you'll be led straight to the weekly spread for that week. We are be talking a little bit more about how weeklies are organized because that's the spread we will be setting up today. The final section is a section for notes with empty pages of different types of grids. 
These are great place to maybe store your stickers if you're going to use any or to create any other spreads you might want to have in your journal, different collections or checkers or about me pages. But today we are setting up a weekly spread, so I will be back to a weekly review page. I'll find the week I'm looking for, which is May 25th to 31st and click on it. Just like that, I am now on a weekly page I need. Every weekly page consists of two spreads. One is for your weekly goals and uh, priorities. I'm not going to be setting up this spread because I feel like it's very personal and it's more of a business page. So I usually would just write it in text without putting any attention to decoration or anything. But the next page is basically your weekly overview where you write your daily to-do list and stuff like that. And that's the spread we will be setting up today. First thing I will do is to kind of clean it a little bit and get rid of the elements which I will be replacing. Since I am setting it up, I want it to look according to the design I have in mind. So I am getting rid of all the parts that will be replaced by the headers I created. To do that, I just chose the white pen and I draw with it over the elements I want to be erased. I feel like this is a good time to talk about using stickers in your good notes. If you actually bought or downloaded some stickers that are already good note stickers, what you'll need to do is just open it, choose the little lasso icon and select the sticker you like. Then click on it and choose copy. After that, you come back to your planner. After a long press, you'll get a menu and click paste. Just like that, here's your sticker. You can resize it, you can move it around. And once you found the perfect place for it, just tap away. But I want to decorate it with some things I created. What I'm doing is coming back to Procreate, which is a design app where I usually do a lot of doodling and drawing. I'm opening the file with the doodles I want to use for decorating this week. I've been obsessed with Animal Crossing. What you need to do is to turn off the background and save this image as a PNG. So that way only the image will be saved without any type of background. Now, when you come back to the GoodNotes app and open your planner, click on the little photo camera icon on the top. And on the top right, you will be able to see all the pictures. So click on one of those and there it is. Just like with GoodNotes stickers, you can move them around, you can change the size. Once you found the perfect place, just click away. The next thing we will be doing is creating headers. Now, I know that it's a pen and I can just write them, but I thought since it's digital planning, I actually can create more clean looking headers if I type them. To do that, you need to press this little icon with the letter T, then choose the color you want for your headers, and then tap the icon on the right to kind of change the size, change the fonts. Now, it's important to know that there are pre made fonts in GoodNotes and you can just import any font. But I'm using a third party app called iFont to import fonts on my iPad and on the GoodNotes app. So maybe you want to check that out if you want to kind of have specific maybe calligraphy fonts or something like that. That's pretty much the only two things I will be doing so far. So I will leave you for now, but I will see you at a later part when I'll be doing something else, I want to show you how. So, pretty much I am happy with the way my weekly looks, but I do want to add a habit tracker. For that, I'm going to use this little icon with shapes. This will allow me to create a more straight looking shape. In this case, it's going to be a rectangle. First thing I do is I choose the color of the lines and the thickness. Once I'm happy with that, 
I just draw a figure which is more or less the shape I want to get in the end and then automatically the system will straighten all the lines and there it is. I did make a little mistake here and my outer rectangle for the habit tracker turned out to be a bit too big but not a big deal. I just used an eraser tool and it looks fine for me now. Next step is creating the days of the week and I started by drawing them but I quickly thought that it kind of would look better if I would unite all the headers and use the same font on them. So I decided to type the days of the weeks eventually. Now I understand that with a pen I can write and I will be writing my tasks and stuff like that. I just wanted all my headers to look the same. Then as you can see I started using my Apple Pencil as actual pen and I am writing my habits. My digital handwriting is not that good yet but again not a big deal. Just like with everything else I feel like it's a matter of practice. Now I just kind of want to show you several tricks you might consider for filling out your weekly during the week. First of all I like using that little shapes tool to create signifiers. Here I'm using squares but you also can use this tool to create pretty good looking circles. Then I would write my tasks in a usual way. Kind of play around with the thickness of your pen and whether you want to do block letters or cursive. Find the way that works for you digitally. And that's it. For Habit Tracker there are several ways you can fill that one out. After a few tries I figured that I really prefer a thicker pen and probably red color so it really stands out and tells me good job Masha. Hope you guys enjoyed this little plan with me video, got the basics on how to do digital planning and are excited to try it by yourself. I did promise that I will go through my final thoughts on the planner I used, which is Boss Personal Planner, and here they are. I really enjoyed how the planner had a lot of very useful templates for planning, like for daily pages, for weekly spreads. It also had a lot of additional goals and personal development kind of pages. And I really like that they are already there because personally, I know that I can get a little bit carried away with designing things and decorating. And sometimes maybe I don't pay as much attention to my goals as I should. But with this planner, Every spread has an area for your goals, so it's kind of always in your head. You always remember to work on that. Also, if you don't really need that, it is not a pre-made printed planner. It's a digital planner. So honestly, you can fix everything here. Even if some areas don't fit you, you probably saw me changing my weekly completely with just some stickers and Oh, digital whiteout. So I would recommend this planner for anyone who is more concentrated on personal development, on achieving goals, on getting organized. But if you're not really that type of person, you can still check it out and transform it to whatever you like because it is a digital planner and you can do anything you want with it. Just to remind you, all the links will be in the description if you want to check this planner out or some of their other items. Finally, let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in digital planning and if you would like for me to create some more videos on how to plan digitally and maybe digital plan with me videos. That's definitely something I can do even now when I'm in quarantine and I'd be happy to if you're interested. So let me know and I will see you in the next video. Keep bullet journaling and don't be a blob. Bye.